What is up, risk takers? Welcome to the Kill Pete Strategy. I am Pete. I'm a top player in Risk Global Domination, a daily release on YouTube. I do weekday streams on Twitch, and if you are interested in getting better at the game of Risk, I invite you to subscribe to my channels. Come along the ride with me. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Map Master Mondays. We're taking a look at every map in the game one by one, putting them into a tier list for free for all progressive world. I mean, this is a special one. This is Red Sands Force. Let me show you Red Sands. We're doing World Domination Auto 60 Expert Automated Bot. Don't start with any here, and then nothing fancy. No fog, Blitz Portals Alliances. I mean, the second seat playing is red. Um, I out my turn first before we go for... Ooh. Okay, so I have five troops in this bonus, but so does... Uh, so does black. I mean, this is a risky open. I have to land it. We get perfect dice. Okay, that helps a lot. That really helps a lot. Getting really good dice there was essential. Um, let me show you the bonuses on Red Sands Fort. You've got Tower North plus five. Gun Gangway, which is a four or five around the middle, is also plus five. Gun Tower West plus four. RT, where I'm at, plus three. Gun uh, maintenance is plus four. Gun Tower Coast plus five. Gun Tower Main plus six. And Gun Tower East plus five. And of course, the Center Tower plus seven. Hold it. So, different bonuses are di worth different amounts. I would figure Black doesn't put on that two now, and I definitely hit the three to avoid them contesting me for this bonus. Um, I'm going to need to turn two plus three. So, actually, not the best. Um,. One of the smaller bonuses in the map, but the upside is it, it is <coughs> able to be guarded from a single position. So you ideally use this bonus to leverage into that bonus or something of the like. Um, I'm obviously not going to let someone who tries to camp out on this side um, be good neighbor. <laughs> Looks like Black's going for the middle. So Black's going to be next to me after I fucked him over, which is a very interesting circumstance. Okay. Uh, Magenta throws the devil horns, which is always my favorite emote. It says, I'm dumb. Um, no, I don't actually know what it says, but it's an interesting, I, I guess it's an emotion that I don't experience. It To me, it says I'm dumb. <laughs> Every time I see it, that's the message I'm receiving. Is he going to move? He's just going to attack to the right of me. That's fine. It'll take him a bit to finish that bonus. All right. So it looks like I'll have a two point on a plus seven, which is what I want, right? I want here and here. I want to clean all that out after I take that turn too. So is that going to work? Um, Red Sands Fort is very much a bonus game. Red Sands Fort progressive. Um, kill guards matter. So where you're pocketed up, if there is a pocket that doesn't get smoked. <coughs> Blue's going to roll 8v3, I think. We lose that. For Magenta's in a bit of an early lead, but at least nobody's contesting me for my bonus. So I will almost certainly end up with a uh, turn two plus three and hopefully leverage that into a turn three or four plus seven. Um, we do see the three get smacked. No shocker there. Yeah, and he also gets perfect dice. No, he loses three on that. Good. Rough times for Bluefist. Turn two. Uh, has White found a position? Where did White even go turn one? Right. White's going to contest black in the middle of the board, which I like. Oh, white's a bot already. Okay, we've already lost the white player. That's going to slow black down. All right, so first thing I want to do is I have a choice here. I can roll the two or I can roll the one. I'm going to roll the two first. Hopefully we don't get bad dice. Uh, but I'm doing that because I still want enough for a 100% roll, which I just barely get. 100% roll on the bonus turn two. So we get that. I don't think Magenta breaks, but it wouldn't shock me if they did. Uh, Orange has their most troops in the top right. They are okay. Orange is going to try and take that bonus next to me, but they're doing it slowly. So yeah, so Orange and I are going to be natural enemies this game. Fair enough. So now at least I have a one point on a plus three. So I'm the first player to take a bonus. 
Black still has to contest white in the middle of the board. Having a bot on your border is definitely not what you want. He's leaving. Yeah, he's running away from that bot. <coughs> we might see the bot get strong in the middle. This board being very compartmentalized, it was good. Uh, the first time I played this map was practicing for the semifinals of the first tournament I ever participated in. And the pathing on this map is particularly pocketed, right? So you have pocket, pocket, and then pocket, and then you have pocket, pocket, um, path, path. So the pathing is, is interesting. Each of these bonuses connects in different ways. Um, these ones, all four, connect into this position. So this position, Kilgar's four. Now, I gave that up, but this one territory does kill guard four players potentially if if that works and 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 similarly these two shapes here are symmetrical coming in like that coming in like that so there's a lot of splits there's a lot of creative pathing okay magenta is over attacking trying to take their bonus yeah by the time they get it they won't have much left I th think my line of play is to lean into the fact that I'm a player with a bonus. Blue's going to get one soon. Not this turn. Blue's going to have a plus five. They put their stack in the wrong place. Oh, they're not even going to get it yet. I'm going to be back there. <laughs> okay. Will those three troops a turn be enough? And turn three. White pot's going to go pop. Hopefully not pop on me. Maybe takes that. If white takes a plus seven, though, someone might need to break that. I don't know. I have a one point, so chances of expanding into me are lower, but I still might just get burned. But it's not a bonus taker. It's, oh, it's just being such a thorn in black side. We love that. Poor black player. Okay, so my second turn is prescribed. I'm going to add two troops to the two, make an attack here, and the rest go on the three and fortify. So we have a, our strong position. We have an ancillary stack adjacent. I just don't want any troops inside that bonus. And I don't really see any point in investing um, exterior. I can also wait for orange to take the bonus they're trying to take and then eviscerate them from the position, which... I will do. I'm not going to let Orange get a plus four next to me. That makes, that makes no sense. I'm going to kill them before they have a chance to recover. Okay. Yeah, good neighbor play doesn't necessarily make a lot of sense. We see the second player to take a bonus is taking a plus four on the third turn. Uh, I am exactly three troops ahead of them, but I won't be letting them hold their bonus. So I will hit, hit them out of that position. Orange had a lot out here. I'm surprised they didn't invest in the first two. Ooh, we get bad rolls for Magenta. <coughs> Good thing Magenta doesn't understand the their probabilities very well. And they fail to take a card. Hmm. Okay. Magenta failing to take a card is interesting. Blue still working on their bonus slowly. Yeah, I don't see any reason why I don't punish Red here. Or uh, Magenta here. Other than the fact that I might have a suicidal neighbor. Don't roll three V2s. This is enlightening. And I suppose this is a great example of uh, the time to do the Q&A question. So, the question here is from UCase, and UCase says, Hey Pete, this is likely a silly question, but I am prone to being obtuse. What is the amount, uh, what is it about the animation of your opponent's dice rolls that tells you it's manual as opposed to a routine blitz? Number of dice, something else. So, for the bot, you don't see any dice rolls. That's one of the ways you know it's a bot. 
Ooh, Bond's going to be holding plus seven and stacking on me. Fook. Okay. I'm in the second seat. I don't mind actually setting early for this. This is a counterintuitive play, but we're going to do it. I want to leave like 10 down there. And we're going to just make sure that red doesn't exist, or uh, orange doesn't exist there at all. You see, with these dice, you see how they're lit up. And uh, the dice being lit up is the way you know. I'll show you on an opponent's turn. Now, unless Orange has a set here, he can't really retaliate on me at all. Um, so let's see what happens with Orange's dice, folks. Pay attention to this spot. And if it's not orange, we'll, we'll do it on Black's turn. I set early to take a bonus. It's actually a new world for, <laughs> for Pete playing progressive. How often have I recommended you guys never set early to take a bonus in progressive? I don't think Black breaks the center now. I think we might have a really strong white bot coming out of the middle. Yeah, Orange quit the game from that. Orange got haymakered and they said, Wah! I have no chance of recovering. I'm not even going to try. Even though they had every chance in the world to recover. So this is something I always recommend you don't do, right? Don't allow someone like me haymaker you and knock you out of the game like a bitch. Um, at least try. At least punish the guy who did it. At least set and fucking sue me, right? Or something. Um... Okay, do we see black dice? Now look at the look at the box. See how they're lit up? That's how you know it's blitz. Okay, if they weren't lit up, then it would be manual, and that's how you can tell the difference between a player manual in, in fog versus blitzing. Okay, black is trying to camp out next to white. White's going to hold a plus seven. Doesn't look like they had broken now. I would expect uh, that red breaks me instead of taking their own bonus. But it looks like I'm I would expect that this four breaks my plus four. I shouldn't be holding a plus seven. It's too it's too much. Uh he is gonna roll five v two, which is not hundred percent, and he's gonna roll four v two to finish his bonus. Okay, Magenta has also overextended for this. Yeah, and he stacks on the border. So I'm actually expecting white to go pop pop here. Off the five line. Now the five could go the other way. But I don't think it hits my 11. I don't think it hits the oranges. Orange five stack. Okay, blue sets as well. Blue takes a set on three to finish his bonus. I don't know that I hate this. So they take the six trade instead of the 15 that they're on. I only I only lost two troops from my deal, but because I took a bonus with it, um, I think we pay back those troops easily. So orange now only in three positions. And blue is going to have their bonus guarded on two points before black does. We've played very aggressively this game um, <coughs> relative to how I usually play and how I usually recommend free for all prog goes, but that's okay. Sometimes you can't always do the, the same thing every time. So yeah, we do see, Ooh, okay. And the bot not only, uh, not only gets the plus seven, but sets. Okay. I'm hopefully break magenta. So I don't have to be the bad guy. But there is a small universe where the 12 goes down. Nope, the 7 goes down. And breaks, please. It's black. Yeah, black could run, but he couldn't hide. Okay, so I'm the one who has to break the Benta. Unfortunate. White's going to get huge in the middle. Oh, no. Very huge in the middle. Okay. Okay. Um, shit. Well, I can guard against Magenta with threats, I suppose. Um... My card's going to be here. So I get a card, and the that's the only thing I'm doing because the 21 will guard against a magenta. It's a 25 now. It will guard against a white um, 13 in a hard guard, and it will guard against magenta's breaking on a threat. So in order for that 25 to be open to magenta, they would have to break me first, which I don't think they do. Hello there! <laughs> But you never know. Uh, hopefully the orange bot breaks the white bot. Do we see that? And one more. One more to break the plus seven. 
Yes, it does. Okay, good. Now White Bot will be distracted. I lose a two in the corner. So I really do need to make sure that this, my final exterior position does survive. Um, if I was black, I'd pop that now. Maybe not black, probably can't afford it. He's still trying to take his bonus. The black's sitting on five cards. Magenta's going to get to hold. So Magenta's going to be the other, one of the other halves in this game. They're getting a plus five. I don't see a world where they break me, but you never know with people. They set. Okay, maybe that encourages them. So we're seeing four human players and two bots now. They're going to take their card on black in the middle. Yeah, and they're going to guard against the 13 as well. Interesting board position. <coughs> okay, so black's on five cards. Could almost get that kill, but it's still too early. So black's going to survive. How's the orange kill look, actually? White goes immediately before me. If white removes one, two, three territories, there's a line for me to get the orange kill, but I still, without a set, I can't do it. So this is where I get punished for setting early. And this is exactly why I recommend you. Well, but orange wouldn't be a bot, and orange kill wouldn't be viable if I didn't do it. So these are the trade-offs you have to evaluate. So yeah, blue starts with a plus five now. Spends two-thirds of their turn in draft. Now three-quarters. A little bit of drool starts to fall from the side of his mouth. He takes his bonus and then chooses this opportune moment to stop playing the game. Okay, excellent. I do not understand some people. I have three bots and three players. I'm playing as black and magenta. White 13, I expect, hits the three. Probably the four and the one. That's helpful. That's helpful. I can almost get this kill. Ooh, 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 ooh. Uh, I can get it. Yeah, I think we got it. Nice. That'll help out a lot. Now I hold another bonus on the other side of Magenta. I think Magenta's even further disincentivized from breaking me, but at some point they're going to be like, oh shit, I have to kill him. Black does survive. <coughs> Black's been off bonus all game. And White is now holding a plus five and a plus seven in the middle of the board. So me having a 25 here is actually living very dangerously, but I would expect it to hit the Magenta 17 before it hits mine. Unless Black breaks here. I think Black should. Oh, he's living dangerously too. Okay. Everyone live, living dangerously on the center point of White. Does Magenta break? If I'm Magenta, I, I consider breaking White here on this line. Yeah. No, he wants that bonus. All right, so Magenta and I are going to be bonus pals. I don't know how well that's going to work out for him. Ooh, we don't have a set on force. We actually need to kill Black here and trigger a trade. Kill Black or kill White. Um, the White kill probably easier. The White kill is easier. I'll kill White first because they're a bot. And prioritize. 
normally you want to prioritize killing players because players can actually beat you. But first of all, let's see what white does on their turn, right? Maybe they trade. They should be holding... I mean, if they get fucking plus seven here, plus five, plus seven, it's plus 12 troops, and you get 15 troops on their turn, holy fuck. Maybe blue bot breaks? The blue player's botted. It'll break at least one, hopefully both, and then feed me the white kill. Come on, bot. Come on, bot. Break, break Arena. Let's see it. Let's see it. Let's see it. Come on. I don't want an extra 15 troops on this board. Force me to kill a player like Black who actually stuck it out. We've now gone through the entirety of Blue's turn twice without them taking a card. What's up with that? That's not a normal bot out. Might be a glitch of some kind? Ah, damn it. There's less cards on the field. Blue has too many troops, and the bot didn't break white. All right, let's see what the white bot does. It punishes my 25. I cry like a baby. Okay, 15 troops come in, and it sets on my border. Okay, please hit the 17. <laughs> it's going to punish my 25 just because. <laughs> just because, right? The worst possible world? Are we living in the worst possible world? And no, Magenta is. Okay, sorry, Magenta. That's a bummer. All right, we can kill Black and Set from this. The perfect path to go on this kill is... Uh, there's two splits. Three splits, I guess, overall. There's one, there's two, and there's three, and we get the black kill. That again, Magenta's kind of on the ropes, but the last human opponent. They definitely don't have a set, so. No, oh, slider's still on. Just lining up to kill Magenta. And take a third card. He's bought it as well. Yeah. And this is just cleanup mode now. Easy win. I played very aggressively this game. Also, everybody quit, except for Black. Shout out to Nautos. You're the only person in this game who wasn't a fucking loser. <laughs> I'm gonna quit. Okay. Do we see a third turn of the blue bot not taking cards? Weird. Very weird. Well, this is a decisive victory here. Handy. An odd glitch, though, seeing that uh, Blue's going to end up getting second because they just aren't playing. Too bad. Okay, and then wipe out takes a second card, and we're gonna clean up everybody. And there you have it. Ladies and gentlemen.
a lot of splits, right? You have to be quite precise with your pathing, with your splitting. Really good practice, this map. You want to use this map for practice on splits. This is the one I recommend, because there's just so many. We don't quite have the kill on blue, or do we? Yeah, the dice were not there. The dice were really not there. Okay, and there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. I find this map very satisfying. I find it very beautiful. Um, tricky with all the splits. It's a bigger map. 64 territories. <coughs> the bonuses definitely matter. And the map being super compartmentalized means that uh, there is a ton of opportunity for kill guarding. Um, and that actually takes it out of contention for being a top free-for-all prog map. Um, I do like it, and I think it's a very interesting map, but it has specific downsides by being very compartmentalized. <laughs> yeah. GG Tonatos, what did I say, right? The one guy who stuck around all game is a grandmaster. Sorry I fucked you in the first turn. Uh, defeating one novice, uh, two beginners, an expert, and a grandmaster. Let's see where the old Red Sands Fort fits in in our tier list for Free For All Progressive World Dom. So I think Red Sands is here. I think Red Sands is solidly in the B tier. <coughs> As I said, they have... It's a, it's a big map, which is good. The bonuses matter a bit much, which is bad. The fact that it is compartmentalized is the real um, deal breaker. So you have like, the B tier consists of like Skull and Crossbones, Red Sands, uh, Rivertown Advance, Bohus Fortress. All four of these are highly compartmentalized bonus mattering maps, which are good, interesting maps, but not quite up at the top because um, the stuff right up at the top, I want to see something big, something open, uh, where the bonuses can matter, but in Red Sands, it's all about, you know, getting a position. As you saw, I went very aggressive for my position, and it worked. And that's sort of the the play pattern that you, you, you're going to have to use, but also um, it, can, it can bite you if you, A, don't know about it, or if someone just does it better than you, right? Someone gets an OP spawn, you're fucked, right? So that is my take on Red Sense Ford. It is one of my favorite maps, and I hope you all enjoyed this video. I hope you found some of it fun and entertaining, maybe even a little bit educational and informative. If you are interested in getting better at the game of Risk, I invite you to subscribe to my channels, come along the ride with me. I have a daily release on both Freepeat and the Killpeat strategy. I do weekday streams on Twitch for all of you on the path to world domination. Good games. Good luck.